chapter title, subtitle, author, um, a head and whatnot. The reason for this is so that we don't lose any rendering on the actual content of the um, of the um, demo here. Um, so what we're going to do now, now that we've gone through, we're going to actually run our rendering option, which is uh, where we left off in right before the break. So we're going to go to cleanup right here under the SAI. We're going to go to cleanup. And all we're going to click is rendering. And then that's it. And we're going to say, OK. You should get cleanup complete, again, depending on the speed of, of your computer, and then hit OK. And so now that we've run rendering, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and compose our space break uh, paragraphs. Um, essentially, any um, or any um, styles that need uh, any paragraphs that will are not standard or anything like that, like standard text uh, paragraphs. So we're going to go ahead, and this includes uh, the copyright page here. So we're going to get rid of that copyright information. Delete the square bracket there. And we're going to compose those as CRT. All right? You can also go to the style galleries, low default. I believe right there in the front matter, you'll have CRT here as number eight. Before we continue on, we're going to go ahead and compose this series page as well. You'll notice something interesting. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this open bracket. If you have invisibles turned on um, or the form formatting marks turned on, you'll notice that these are um, they're soft returns. They're not um, paragraph breaks. And you can actually tell because the normal style here is only being applied to this first line. So if I go ahead and come here and say, I want to make this SER for series entry, all of them will be composed. But this paragraph is actually um, the way that it will translate. It's everything almost on one line. You would lose the different line distinctions. So in order to fix that, what we're going to do is we're just going to introduce uh, paragraph breaks there. And you can see that after we've gone ahead and composed it, it keeps it keeps the paragraph style. And now each line is styled, composed, excuse me, as it should be. Delete these extra uh, square brackets. And this will give people time to catch up if they need to, as I go through and just get rid of those. And I'll show you a quick way to do it. You can also search and replace uh, for those square brackets if, for example, your file has a lot of them. Um, but um, that is not necessary here as it only exists here in the front matter. So we'll get rid of these. And you'll see the soft returns here again. So what we'll do is just replace those with an actual true paragraph break. As you can see, when you compose, there are some things that are that are manual that you just have to do um, yourself. Um, but most of it will be handled via the SAI. So I'll show you show you now that if I go here and compose this as CRT, I'm losing that spacing distinction, right, that existed here and that you can see here clearly. So if I go through and compose this whole thing as CRT, it's just going to become one big block of text, right? And that's not what I need. I actually need to preserve that spacing distinction, right? So because all of these have a space above, again, we don't want to have something with um, space above, um, um, something with space below last, um, preceding something with space above, uh, the space would be too big in that instance. We would 
um, what we're going to do is we're going to compose these as CRT F. And so just to compose the whole thing, right, because there is no other distinction, there's no indentation in which we would use CRT1 or anything like that. We're just going to keep everything as CRT F. And now the text size got smaller, but we retained our spacing distinction throughout. But you'll notice something here. This library of, of uh, Congress cataloging publication or CIP data should not be CRT just in case this needs to be um, rendered in a different way during design. So this is actually um, CIP for cataloging publication. So I'm going to take this, te this text here and apply CIPF. It's not very different, but you can see that the style changed here in the style area pane. Okay, we're going to again get rid of this dedication again. And so here, the dedication, you'll notice this TK that just means uh, to come. It's a note to the, um, to the typesetter. We're going to leave that as is and the, the typesetter will read that. We can also make this into a query, uh, but for the purposes of this demo, we'll just pretend that there is actual text here, right? And we're going to go ahead and compose that as dedication we're going to go uh, yep. there we go and so dd for dedication 